Hello and welcome back to the Two Minute Drill. My name is Bailey and today we are looking at Arkansas wide receiver Traylon Burks. Burks brings a rare size and speed combo to the field. People who are 6'3 and 230 pounds should not be able to run like this and when he hits top gear, there's no one on the field that can catch up to him. Burks also adds amazing strength to his deadly combination, making him almost impossible to take down. Burks also has an amazing athletic profile and should blow up the combine. His high point ability, contact balance, and toughness should make him a very attractive option for many teams. If that wasn't enough, Burke has very sure hands and tight body control, making difficult sideline catches look routine. When Burks fully extends his frame and uses his giant hands to attack the ball, he is unguardable on the field. Burks isn't without his flaws, however. He doesn't contribute as much as you would like to the run game for someone his size, and gives a half-hearted attempt on reps when he knows the ball isn't coming his way. He also isn't polished as a route runner, due to his rough footwork, relying on his size and physicality more so than skill to win against CBs. Burks also played mostly out of the slot, allowing him a lot of free releases. Although that he has shown that he could win against press, it is still worrying that he wasn't used outside more. Despite the number of his negative traits, his pros far outweigh his cons. Traylon Burks has received a variety of pro comps throughout the draft cycle, but the one he reminds me of the most is Andre Johnson. Although it might seem like a lofty comparison, Burks has the ability and skill to grow into a receiver similar to Johnson. If Burks can land on a team that can help him develop his route running and release package, there's no doubt in my mind that he could be one of the top receivers in the league. You simply cannot teach his traits, and his weaknesses are easily coachable. For a draft range, I could see Burks going anywhere in the first round. He fits a very specific type of wide receiver that teams will look for. Some teams may fall in love with his size and speed, while others go for Garrett Wilson and his smoothness. It all comes down to preference and what each team needs a wide receiver in such a stacked class. In my opinion, Burks should be a top 12 pick in this draft and can be a legitimate wide receiver one for a championship team. And that's the 2 minute drill.